Does police body camera video tell the whole story? That's the central question now at a hearing today in Schuylkill County Court. The I-team first told you about the arrest of a Schuylkill County man in June. He claims police violated his civil rights when they stormed into his home near Shepton. 2822 News I-team reporter Andy Mahalshik is working the story. He joins us now in the studio with more. Andy? Well, good evening, Nick and Candace. 43-year-old Dennis Antonelli and his attorney were in court in Pottsville today asking a judge to toss out the charges filed against him back in May. They're also asking the FBI to investigate what happened that night. You can't come to my house. Oh, oh, your hands behind your back. Come in my house. You can't come in my house. I didn't let you in. I didn't let you in my house. I didn't let you in my house. Stop! What are you doing? This is police body camera video taken on the night of May 13th at the home of Dennis Antonelli located near Shepton. East Union Township police officer Christopher Dimmick assisted by a Shenandoah police officer, went to the home to escort Antonelli's live-in girlfriend, Tiffany White Knight, seen here Monday, coming into the Schuylkill County Courthouse in Pottsville with Antonelli to retrieve her personal belongings that night. The couple argued earlier in that day, and she left the home. Antonelli first asked the officers if they had a search warrant to enter his home. They said no. And was he in any kind of trouble? They said no again. He closed his front door and shut off the porch light. A few minutes later, Officer Dimmick returned and insisted they had the right to come in. That entry caught on Officer Dimmick's body camera. You can't come in my house. What you will see in the video is an officer advancing through a doorway, my client putting up his hand to stop an illegal entrance, and then the officer going forward, tackling my client, cap stunning, pepper spraying my client, eventually arresting my client for no valid reason whatsoever. Now, the body camera video was not entered into evidence at a preliminary hearing back in June when all charges, including aggravated assault and resisting arrest, were sent to trial by a district judge. In court Monday, Attorney Nahas told the judge the police story simply does not add up. In this particular case, the transcript and the affidavit state that my client pushed an officer and that the officer almost fell down a flight of steps. Nowhere in that video will you see that at all. In fact, Tiffany White Knight, seen here coming to court on Monday with Antonelli, was the only witness to testify on Monday. She said she never saw Antonelli push a police officer and that there was not a threat to the officers. A judge will now have to rule on whether to drop the charges filed against Antonelli. I did nothing wrong. I deserve what happened to me. I didn't, I didn't think a cop would, would do something like that. I just hope everything's over with and, you know, justice prevails. As they await a judge's ruling... Attorney Nahas tells the I-team. It's my full intention to uh, refer this case to the FBI uh, for the illegal entry and the assault of my client. Now, Officer Dimmick was not at today's hearing. We again reached out to him at the police station. We have not heard back. Now, back in June, Officer Dimmick did return my call saying he wanted to tell his side of the story. We, again, we never heard back. The Schuylkill County District Attorney Michael Pegg told me today he cannot comment on the ongoing court case. So for now, it's a waiting game on Schuylkill County Judge James Goodwin. No word on when he'll make that decision. You can see all of our reports on this investigation on pahomepage.com. Nick and Cass, back to you. Thank you, Andy. 